All right, today we're gonna to be uh, showing you how to properly load a motorcycle, dual sport, dirt bike, whatever, into the back of a pickup truck. We're gonna use this 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Let's get going. For starters, uh, make sure you have your straps ready and your ramp. Obviously your motorcycle, you're gonna need that. Fortunately, the Honda Ridgeline came with pre-installed tie-down anchors one thing I like about it but if your truck doesn't have the tie down anchors install them or find a safe way to suitably anchor the straps to the bed of the truck and the motorcycle we're also going to use our motorcycle stand if you don't have one of these are really handy for maintenance cleaning and loading your bike if you don't have one what are you waiting for get on over to motojungle.ca and pick one up they're dirt cheap for starters we're going to take the ramp we're going to put it into position on the vehicle centered in here. One of the most important steps is to take a uh, strap and make sure you anchor this ramp to the uh, to the truck so it doesn't scoot away on you on pavement. And then we can position the motorcycle stand in a safe spot so it's a nice step up into the back of the truck and the rest is pretty self-explanatory have your two straps ready in the bed and it always helps to have a buddy do this as well but i'm alone today so we're going to make the best of it so we're just going to get a good run at this have your hand on the front brake at all times as well it up into position. Once you've got that done, you can grab a strap and get your first anchor point hooked up. Like so. Then we're going to hook it into the handlebar like this. Now, I'm not going to use the kickstand here. It's best not to have your straps twisted either. going to put a little bit of tension on the strap here and that'll let the bike lean on it while you can do the other strap. So now you can see the bike's actually standing on its own with no kickstand, just hanging on with one strap. Gives you lots of time to put that other strap in. And then it's just a matter of evenly tightening down both sides. Let the shocks compress like that. Make sure the bike's straight and secure, and then it's just a matter of doing the backup. Now that the front's strapped in, I'm actually going to center the back wheel in the bed a little bit better. There we go. Pop the ramp off. Slide it in the back. You can put your stand back up in there now. Take that third strap. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the rim. Careful not to bend any spokes when you're doing this. To the tie down on the other side. I'm using the top tie down on this one because I just want forward momentum to push it towards the front of the truck. Just like that. And then we're going to take our straps and we're going to just neatly tie up all the tag ends. And that's it. Get out and ride.